where are we at now? I think I'll wait for this one. This is messed up. <laughs> Let's get out of here. the way I came, right? What about now? <coughs> and we trigger the boss battle again. There we go. get a memory from him. Oh, いってしもうた。すぐそこにおったのに。お主。うん。お、忍びどのか。聞いてくだされ。それがしは。ついに身もした。女の僧者でござる。透明にもわかる。美しく。だが、儚い様子の。ああ。呼んでおるのは私なのか。尋ねるのじゃった。つい聞き惚れておるうちに。yeah, I think the way that they they keep the the ape alive, it's got to be the case that we're gonna fight the ape again. As long as it doesn't have like a brand new move set, can probably live with that. Like it gives you such a big obvious. Um, way to attack it that it's not as bad. Hidden forest. Hidden forests are always freaking dangerous in these games. Gonna be no exception. Okay, random rooster. to me well whatever flying it can do doesn't seem like it These are apparition types. Same type of enemies, but they just appear as apparitions. Interesting. Well, they're not even, they're like ghosts, but I don't need the special blade to fight them. I guess maybe they're just, I was going to say they're better at hiding. That's probably the difference. Definitely doing way less damage to me. So it's going to be my turn to get snuck up on. And 
I just have to be careful for when I have the third skill point. Hmm, these guys built a bit different. The axe guys are a bit harder to deal with, so I would have liked to have got him first, but... Yeah, you see, even, even in between the two Ichimonjis, he can interrupt. But I think with my heightened attack power, I'm able to just do much more posture damage than I could before. So they respawn, respawn after a certain amount of time. Let me just see that in action. Or is it like once you leave that part, they respawn? Slow-mo? That's ridiculous. Right, I'm near a third skill point. I kind of want to get it. Uh, gonna try and be careful here. But I'm just hanging around until I get that third point. I think the enemies are going to start to get a lot more interesting now. Yeah, like three more kills should be enough. Let them keep ambushing me.
something up here. He's going to give us some advice. Once again, it takes 20 minutes for them to get a line out. That's, it's so many people like this. That's good info, thank you sir. You know what, screw this. You know what, I'm gonna go for this. オオカミ殿。オオカポン二軒の仕業。薄うなったように思います。うん。苦労様の節立ち。どうか叶えて差し上げてください。では。<笑> みこ様。あ、源の甲の花。手に入れました。おお。やはり落ち谷に咲いていたか。はい。落ち谷の奥に。そこが源の水の流れが濃い場所だったということか。よく手に入れてくれた。狼よ。ああ、そうだ。私の
With mortal blade in hand, my blood may be shed. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
and see what this guy's all about and begin the session with a boss battle, which is probably not a smart thing to do, but let's just try anyway. Maybe I can get back out of here. Okay. Pick that up. So we have a warrior here. The arena is huge. Good thing it is. Very good thing that it is. Holy shit. So for now, I'm not doing anything other than just sprinting around. Oh my god. I haven't hit, been hit by any of them yet. Yeah, it's terror. It's terror. It's terror. It's a lot of terror. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like the terror status at all. But there always seems to be these statuses in these games that are basically insta-kill if the bar fills. Barely have time to heal here. Yeah, so double Ichimonji, probably not a smart one. Probably not a small one. I know you can use the... Um, like, basically, the things that I have to protect against Terra, I think they're, like, kind of very finite consumables. So, like this, I literally only have three of them. That's not a lot. So... <sighs> yeah, just don't know if there's anything good here for this stuff. Maybe the umbrella protects from Terra? Unlikely. But there's probably some kind of tool as I get some unseen aid. I've been getting a lot of it. I don't really know why, honestly. It's a 30%, but I feel like I've been getting a lot more than 30%. I guess I've just been very lucky. Also, I don't know if this counts as an apparition type, but I think I was doing damage, so I don't know. First of all, let's see if this works. Oh, he literally has an aura around him as well. I thought it was uh, more so the balls themselves. The terror balls. I guess, for now at least, I'm going to try just lots of evasive maneuvers. Just shut down my attack there. His health bar doesn't seem that huge. I think this might be a good one to just try and chip with damage instead. Gotta not get stuck on those though. For those I have to sprint. So, I'm going to switch back to this. I, the, the long spark did work. So maybe it's a smart thing to do. Uh. Very hard to avoid all of this. So we have environmental protections here as well. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if he's going to kind of walk towards me. I have to be careful. Well, he's not coming. Fine. So we'll wait for these giant ones to go.
He's just, he's very hard to hit because he doesn't stop doing that shit. So I think for now at least, I don't have too much choice other than to protect myself using the environment. Kind of just chip away his health, I guess. Yeah, his his poise is ridiculous. Like he's not he's not taking any of that. In general, it's fine. I mean, as long as I can stay alive, the, the arena's so big that I've got plenty of time to kind of just chip away at him. Yeah, you're always just stringing together the next move. He basically doesn't have any pause in his attacks. And I assume these can't be deflected. The terribles. Look at this. How am I supposed to deal with this? And as with most ace effects in these FromSoft games, it takes forever for it to go down. be a little more aggressive but as you can see for now at least I failed to see what other play I have but at least while the big big boys are out I'm not gonna try and attack here It's absolutely ruthless if any of those hit you, it's game over. Whew. Good start to the sesh. Oh boy. Now, my terror is still going up. If I get hit. Yeah, so this isn't helping. I wondered if this was maybe a way to kind of bypass uh, the terror. Like, the pacifying agents aren't even that helpful here because you're taking so much damage that, like, the bar goes up so fast, you don't really have a play. I guess this is one kind of unique enemy where you can do this. sure if you can use this to kind of get like a death blow from above on him or something. Uh, come on, man. It was too dark. I couldn't see where he was. I feel like you have to do something again a little different to the norm. Like just standing there trying to deflect or trying to dodge these things probably isn't that good. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, I deserve one of those. But I still got an unseen aid. No. Imagine you could use this <laughs> and then get those terror things to kind of turn their backs on him. That'd be kind of funny. Even those ones, they do like 15% of my health bar, 10%, 15%. So I just didn't feel like this did anything interesting. I'm just trying to see if any of these do anything interesting, but...
I tried to see if this could protect me. No. I thought the winds could maybe keep it away. So you can, you're seeing, I mean, I'm trying to do some stuff here, but it's not working very well. So yeah, after last session's breakthroughs and beating the, the ape, like both of the forms and all of the enemies I'd been stuck on before, and yeah, it's it's back to it's back to normal. And that's how the, the game obviously keeps you on your toes. It keeps changing it up. Like, yeah, okay, maybe right now if it was a bit more of a classic sort of sword fight situation, then maybe I'd be a lot more adept and be able to handle it. But uh, now this is a different kind of fight, it seems, that needs a different type of um, approach. That For now, I don't really know.